this is week 23. On Monday, I woke up with a sore throat, which is never the nicest thing to wake up to. In fact, it's one of my least favorite things to wake up and realize, so that's fun. Uh, plus, I was up really, really early, so I got up like crazy early with a sore throat. Like, you know, Monday morning, like, that was not good. And, you know, I tried to keep it easy and I tried to fall back to sleep for a little bit because eventually I had to get for classes. So I went to classes and I went to work. I had a lot of tea with honey, which is a lifesaver if you happen to have a sore throat. But I, I slowly felt myself getting into this realm of sickness and it was, it was not good. As you can tell by my voice right now, it's actually an entire week later and I am not really feeling that much better. So. So as the day went on, I just felt increasingly sick. Like that was the worst day, I would say, but I just like kept on feeling worse and worse. Like I had a headache, I had the chills, I was just feeling completely out of it. There was a point where I literally just could not even walk around, which is not really normal for me, but like, like it's really not normal, it's not okay, but it was, it was really bad. So eventually I just kind of had like this breakdown and I started freaking out and then I realized, wait a second, I don't really feel stress and I think all of the stress from the chaos from just that week the week before and like homework and essays I had to write everything I think it just really got to me and it just made me sick which is not really great because I would rather be aware that I'm stressed before I get like completely sick and nasty but I kind of could not figure out for the life of me how I was going to make it because I knew I had a couple papers due in a couple days. I was freaking out. I could not do it. I was I was a hot mess. So I just went to sleep and I decided, okay, I'll figure it all out tomorrow. Like, end of today. So Tuesday rolled around. I wanted to sleep in, but after all of the radio chaos, the last thing I needed to do was say I can't make it today. So I went to radio. I was like, alright, I'll just play peaceful music. I'll, I'll survive this. It'll be okay. And I did. I mean, I still felt pretty sick. I felt a little more sick, actually, but like, I don't know. I, I knew I, if I wasn't going to have that extra time to relax and try and get better, I was at least trying to distract myself from remembering how nasty I felt. So I ended up, after radio, having a kai bowl at Jamba Juice, which is basically like smoothie in a bowl, and it's really good because it's like legit fruit blended and everything and it's not just syrupy so it was really good it, it made me feel better I added like the extra antioxidant boost to try and give me a little more strength there uh, so and I kind of just got stuff done which is pretty much like the most helpful thing I guess you can do uh, I had more classes and then after classes watched Pearl Liars and Shadowhunters which was Tuesdays and then I kind of just kept it easy and went to sleep early. I was just trying to feel better. I took some different medications I was supposed to help, and I was just hoping I'd feel better the next day. Which brings me to Wednesday. I was still sick, but I went to classes, you know, I decided that I was just going to relax in the dorm for a little bit afterwards. And then I had work from 4 until 5. So I went to work, and then afterwards it was raining. It was like actually raining in a clay, and my excitement was so real. It actually the rain distracted me from my sickness. I'm not even kidding. And it wasn't like I was sick because of the rain. Like, I've, I've had that happen before. It's weird. Like, you just, like, predict the weather with your sickness. Like, I don't know. It wasn't that. But I literally just enjoyed the fact it was raining. So in the rain, I'm walking. I got my umbrella, and I'm walking to go and pick up a strip. But not just any strip, but the strip for my web series pilot, which had had notes stated for it, so that's why I needed to go home. And then when I got back to the room, I realized it was still raining quite a bit, and I just brought out some peaceful music, I got my speaker going, I made some tea, and I just sat there drinking my tea and then doing creative writing in one of my most trained books, and it was really peaceful. It was honestly just a really great moment. I was trying to take a shower early, but the second I saw the rain, I'm like, hold up. No, like, I need to take this moment and just enjoy that it's like nice, rainy, fun, writing tea weather. So I enjoyed that. It was a pretty peaceful night. And then I took some location pictures afterwards for my web series. It's because I had a presentation due soon, so I had to work on taking location pictures of where I was going to film certain parts of the pilot episode. I just relaxed for a bit and I was like, okay. I need to do something. I need to feel better. And 
yes, it helps. Like, I handed in the papers I needed to get done and everything, but I was still feeling sick and, like, the stress was wearing down, but I was still in the midst of everything, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna just go to the gym for a bit. I was almost going to take a cycling class, but I haven't. I chickened out. I'm like, nah, that, that sounds like too much. So I went for a little bit, and it was good. It got my mind off of things. I did. Uh, for two seconds, I got too involved with my music, though, and I closed my eyes on a treadmill. Never close your eyes on a treadmill. You think that you're still moving, but just slightly slower, and then that's so you know, like, you have fallen off of the treadmill, and everyone's just staring at you. And... Anyway. Uh, so afterwards, I just, you know, just worked on a little more homework. And by homework, I mean I just kept it easy and I just watched some YouTube videos. I kind of just kept it as easy as I possibly could because I'm like, I'm Hey, I'm back. I am sorry about that interruption, but I am here and I am here to talk about more. So, as I was saying, on that Friday, uh, I ended up going to comp table later on and then afterwards I went to an event. Brought to you by one of the sorority groups here on campus, and it was the Delta Desserts Group. I actually know someone who happens to be in that, and I just thought it would be fun to go, so that was cool. And I also learned that Tyler Oakley was planned to be here at LMU in the next week, so stay tuned for more information about that. But that was a day that I realized, and I was super excited, was like, oh my gosh, this is cool, so that's that. On Saturday, I went to Calm Table, and I was feeling slightly better, which was good because I needed to, but I had to have, like, take it like, a ton of extra fruit, because fruit is amazing, so I just had a ton of extra fruit, and I brought that back, and then I went outside of Starbucks for a bit, and I was just really productive. I got a lot of stuff done that I needed to get done, and it felt good. So I was starting to feel like, okay, things are getting better, my health is better, and I'm doing things, so that was good. And then I wandered, just wandered around the library for a bit. Uh, I had a little mocha on the way back, and I was like, wow, I've been so productive. So I ended up taking my productiveness and my newly found mocha caffeine and I brought my suitcase and I started going through all the random stuff that I did that that I don't need here for the rest of the year, for the school year. And you know, because I'm going to start bringing it back, because I'm going to go home for spring break. And in the process, I wanted to start doing the deloading process and bring some of the stuff I wouldn't need earlier. So I went and I did that. And I realized things are pretty heavy and. I was like, all right, cool. So like half of my packing is done a week in advance. I was like, feeling so good about that. So that was my day. And then on Sunday, I ended up sleeping in until 10. Like it's, it's about time, but I'm finally able to sleep in a little better now, which is really nice because my sleep is not what it used to be, but anyway. And then I finished reading The Fifth Wave and had breakfast in bed, which is fun and nice. And oh my gosh, that book was so good. And I'm really excited because now I get to go read the second book of the series. And the third is coming out really soon. So <sighs> it was amazing. It really was. And that was really, really fun to read through and be a part of. So, and then I got ready. And then I went on over to the cafe for a little bit. And then I got to be a Roar Studios extra for another one of their skits. And I just got to be there for a little bit. I was like an older voter because of how the skit was out. So I will post the link to that when that is available. But if I just forget to do that, then you can go and see it on the Roar Studios YouTube channel. And they post a bunch of skits and different videos and web series and everything. So you should go and check that out. Yeah, you may even see me be part of it every now and then, so. So then I went on over by Starbucks for the library again, just to try to like get some more stuff done. I worked on homework, I worked on some editing that I needed to do. And then I went on over back to the room for a bit. It's like, but I wanted to do something else. So there happened to be a showing of the Martian, so I went and I saw that and I was convinced that my little camera had completely broken down. It's been it's been kind of not working as much anymore and that's the camera I go around to vlog and take different footage and pictures throughout. I've had it forever so it's really sad so I thought it was completely dead 
but then it started working again and that's not working so I think that was like the point where I just I came to the conclusion that it was an end of an era of my little camera and it was also the end of the so that was week 23. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, as I always say, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to check out all of the other videos. Of course, I have more other footage and videos and such for this particular web series. I'm working on a new web series, which will be premiering pretty soon, actually. Well, decently soon. Over the next couple months. And yeah, if you like this video, definitely let me know, leave a comment of something fun you did this past week, and yeah, I will be posting every single week, so you should definitely make sure you are subscribed. Thank you for joining me today, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!